Hi, I'm Christina Botta, and I teach in the Department of Communication Studies and Multimedia. Um, the courses I teach in the department are both popular music courses and performance studies courses. Now, performance studies is the thing that's least familiar to people. It's a study of both cultural performances, the obvious things like that happen on stage, theatrical performances, music performances, dance, etc. Um, but the everyday performances is the other piece of performance studies, and that's where we're looking at how we conduct ourselves in the world, in the every in the everyday. Uh, environments that we encounter. So this is both our interpersonal interactions as well as how we represent ourselves as, as, as women, as men, in terms of our race, in terms of our nationality, in terms of our sexuality, etc. Now, um, how does my research relate to this? Well, I study music. This is the main thing that I am engaged in. And the, my central interest is how music has changed with the rise of technology and communications. Now, a hundred years ago, or actually about 150 years ago, if you would have heard music, it would have been something that you made in the room that you were hearing somebody else making. And this, of course, has changed tremendously because we have now with recording, we have broadcasting, we now have a, a move to incredible portability in the music that we have, where it's this thing that's an MP3 file, it's free, you can carry it with you, you can listen to it anywhere you want. You can experience it in really large crowds as well if you so choose. One of my big goals in teaching is to give students a vocabulary for talking about this because I think while music and performance is something that surrounds us that we all do and engage with every day, it's also something that we often lack a vocabulary to talk about. And so a big part of the class, is, the classes that I teach, involves developing a vocabulary to talk about, to describe, to make sense of what we do, and then actually move beyond simply describing and move into interpreting and making sense of. One of the things that's so great about doing this in the context of the humanities is that we bring an amazing set of skills, all of us to the table, of making sense of texts and performances, of writing about them, of talking about them. And I think that having the skills of making sense of something everyday like music or everyday performance is a tremendously useful thing when it talks about moving out into making a sense of ourselves as citizens, as workers in different sorts of places and ways of making actually interventions in the sorts of lives that we live.